Hello and welcome to another video of Chubby McMuffin. Today I will be reviewing the brilliant album of 1997 by Radiohead, of course. It is the best one they've done. OK Computer. Uh, it was 97 they did it with Tom York, Johnny Greenwood, and the others. So, this is album review 9. Album review 9, that's right. If you have not seen my other ones, please check them out because it does me a huge favor. Of course, if you've never seen any of my videos of before, I write them down and then talk from the book. So the first song is Airbag. Unexpected start. It's psychedelic spacey electronica has a moody vibe around it. The unconventional arrangements really appeal to me. The drum is still but slightly excited. As for York's voice, it's day a, t a tad miserable, but since I like Wilson, this also appeals to me. Paranoid Android. Great song, to be honest. The guitar playing is exciting and heavy. York's solemn vocals really work here. It is quite heavy in places. The experimentation is duly noted. The guitar arrangements are well worked out. Really great song. It is the best song on the album with York's, again, miserable voice and lyrics. Subitanian Homesick Alien. It sounds a lot like Wilson's voice. The keyboards are beautiful walls of textured, colourful sound. The drummer is good. He's filling a lot of gaps up. Psychedelic arrangements with a bit of axe from York. Another great song. Really surprised by the quality of songs so far. Exit music for film. His voice is great. Surprisingly really like the atmosphere created throughout the song. The keys are used excitingly, such as is certainly noted. It would be ideal film music. Let down. Calm and simply mellow. His voice is more disciplined. But still quite miserable. The guitar work is simple, but the sound and melody makes it effective. Another great song. Six Color Police, another single that they had from the album. They had a few actually. They planned them in a lot of countries. Melancholic, pretty funny lyrics, and the overall melody arrangements are big factors in the song. I haven't heard one bad song, and there is no exception. So far, this is certainly a reliable. Replayable album. Electrion. Weird Stephen Hawking dialogue. Intro. Despite the creepy voice, the music itself is very atmospheric. The keyboards have a thin texture, but it all adds up to a synthetic beauty. Eight. More accessible, obviously plans placeable and has a retro sound in my opinion. Upbeat and has a fantastic gritty guitar solo. Drumming is pretty basic but it gets out of the way for the guitars. Number 9. Climb of the Walls. One of the most miserable tracks. The vocals and guitar playing really mood well. Sound music is often beautiful. Like this song. Definitely worth another listen. Radiohead can also make music very well. Stephen Wilson was obviously inspired by them. 10. No surprises. Not much to say apart from the fact that I enjoyed it. 11. Lucky. Quite symphonic. York has the same delivery as Matt Bellamy, but many times better. The psychedelic influence is honed perfectly here. Simply a brilliant song. The Tourist. Has an undescribable sound that I love. Just a e experimental dark psychedelic like music, although I can't distinguish any lyrics. He sings it really well. Uh, well, those are the reviews for my songs, but all together, I just want to show the CD. Of course, I have this one, like a lot of people do, and um, I can see where Stephen Wilson from Porcupine Tree got the influences on the drawings for the albums they did. Seen as um, they did a lot of the drawing. Well, it was mainly 
Tom York. So, I, I mean, I'm a huge prog fan, but if I had to be honest, um, this is a prog album, when you, a prog modern album. It's not neo prog. It's more like Porcupine Tree, but um, I prefer Porcupine Tree. But they've done some good albums with Radiohead. I must say, I do like Radiohead. They're very miserable, like Dark McConnick and others. Um, kind of Marcy in a way, they're a bit sarky, a bit, a bit uh, taking the piss. But altogether, I really like this album, and I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. So that was album review nine, and. Um, before I go on to the end, I just want to say, again, thank you very much for watching and uh, subscribing and all the ones who have. And um, please check out my other videos, my other album reviews, such as The Queen is Dead by uh, The Smiths, uh, Stephen Wilson, Hannah Canal Rays, uh, I have The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, Doogie, Rubber Soul, I have also Stupid Dream, The Pipe of the Gates of the Dawn, and uh, Paranoid. So, um, and of course, my film reviews and other stuff. So, please check them out if you have not seen my other videos. So, altogether, Tom York has got a very good, uh, sad, miserable voice that you just want to listen over and over again. Wow. Johnny Greenwood has the experimental guitar, which makes you just sort of like headband, if you know what I mean. And, uh, yes, the, mu the other musicians, I can't remember their names, but they did a very good job on the album. So, well done. So, this is the end. So, please like and subscribe. It does me a huge favor, and I want more subscribers, to be honest. And uh, all support is appreciated. Um, so, thank you for all the support. Thank you for the comments, the um, requests, and more. If uh, So, yeah. So, have a nice day. God bless. Stay safe. And thank you guys for watching this video. It really does me a huge favor. So, yeah, stay safe. Thank you guys.